Hello everyone. So today's video is going to be a little different. So we're going to do a Q&A. We're going to do kind of like a life update. I actually filmed this already. I did. I filmed this look doing it and I was thinking back and I'm like, God, I feel, I just don't know. It was really hard to do makeup and then talk about such like a serious topic at once. And I was just like, I just kind of want to redo this and just sit here and talk and like catch up with you guys because I know a lot of you on this channel is like, it's really only PR hauls. And if you don't follow me over on Life of Maddie, like, or even my, honestly, mainly my Instagram is where I talk the most about everything, then you're probably completely out of the loop of everything. Um, so we're going to do a little Q and A. You guys ask some questions. We're going to tackle some, some fun little questions. We're going to tackle some harder ones and I'm ready to finally start kind of talking about things. I've really kept a lot in over the last six months and well, hell I've kept a lot in over the years, like a lot and it's not healthy and I I'm learning how to communicate more. I should say. So yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna dive in. So first off, let's go into tips on amusement parks with one parent. So as you guys know, I take Riley a lot with me and we have passes with each other. I think we've got like the Enchant King or Imagine. We have like one of the lower ones. So it's only for like the weekdays. We get like block out dates a lot in the summer, which is fine because I don't want to go in the summer. But um, we have a blast. So like honestly, my tips for going with kids, just like or one kid and one parent, is it's the actually the easiest going at Disneyland I've ever had. It's so much fun. I love it, which is why like I literally have trips planned for us each month. It's kind of gives me and like our mommy and ride time. Um, but it is so much fun. So basically, the best tip I can give you is make sure you have everything packed accordingly to where you can easily access items. Like you need a little spot on your bag where you can easily put your phone at because you're going to be constantly on your phone with the app. And then also making sure that you have like easy access to like money if you like need to get something and like your mask and hand sanitizer. But just really like plan accordingly for that. But it's the easiest going time ever. And it's so much fun. Like... It's so much fun just with me and Riley, so I absolutely love it. Is Riley into Disney princess movies? Mine plays with the toys, but won't watch the movie. Same. Riley loves all the princesses, and I'm kind of surprised of how many that she knew. She knew it was Snow White the other day. She's like, it's Snow White. And I'm like, you've never seen Snow White. How do you know it's Snow White? And it just shows how much they get from school. Um, but yeah, she really doesn't watch any movies. She's like not a movie girl at all either, but she loves the princesses. It's the weirdest thing. I don't understand it either. Are you going to do another empties video? Yes. It's still, I'm working on my bag. I'm, I, I like to get my bag a little bit full before I get onto it. Tips for transitioning to two kids. Honestly, it was a lot easier than I thought it. I think the hardest part was I did it on my own. Um, but you kind of just like, you just do it. It actually wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. And I, if I had help during that time, it would have been a lot easier. Um, but it was actually pretty, it was actually pretty easy going because I'm so structured. I have so many routines and my schedules. And I think that's what makes it the absolute easiest. And honestly, that transition from going from zero to one kid is way harder than going from one to two because you are going through that period of you're losing like your your freedom like you you can't just get up and go and do things whenever you want to do it you've got a kid now and that freedom was already taken away so when you go to one to two it's a lot easier because you're that's not like a huge life adjustment you know I feel like it's a way bigger life um milestone and adjustment when you go from zero to one kid versus one to two kids. All right, so now getting into like the heavier questions. How are you feeling and coping? Love you. Are you and Joel getting back together? How is the divorce life? Like all that stuff. Like everyone just doesn't know what the hell is going on. Um, so, all right, so back in August, I had to file for divorce. Uh, um, it was the hardest thing I ever had to do. Like that whole period, I was a wreck. I think I lost like, cause I was also, I just had Kinsley. Kinsley was like, what, four, four months old. 
I think I lost like 15 pounds in the matter of like a few weeks. Um, I was stressed. I was depressed. I was sad. It was hard, but you know what? Like the past like somewhat years have, it's been a roller coaster. It's been up and down. Like things were bad and things get better and then things were bad and things get better. And, um, I think I just kept trying to hold on and trying to like, I gave, I forgave a lot of crap over the years. I have, I am such a freaking forgiving person. <laughs> um, and I just kept holding on because I was so in love with this person and I didn't want to give up. I was like, I don't give up. I'm, I'm you make it work. And divorce was never an option for me. Um, but you can't, you can't make a relationship work when it's just you doing it. Like a relationship is two people. There's two people involved. Both people have to make the effort and you can't do it if one, if the other one isn't. And, um, and you also have to know your worth to also realize like, this is just, I, I don't deserve this. I deserve a lot better than this. So it's just really tough. Um, but yeah, I filed, you know, a lot happened. It was, it was already bad, but a lot happened. And there was one incident where I was just betrayed. And I, I was like this, like, what the heck is this? And then I was given no explanation. I was given nothing. And so he moved out and I filed, I was told to file for divorce. So I did it. And then it was rough and I hoped that he, like, you know, things were going to get better. Things would like, you know, maybe you'd want to work things out. Maybe you'd realize what, what he was leaving. It didn't quite happen. Um, I was just basically stuck in like a toxic, I call it like a toxic vortex of stuff, of a limbo where I didn't know where, what the heck was going on. And then I was getting my emotions played with me, like being told, oh, let's put the divorce on pause um, and see how this goes. But then when I'm being told that, then there's no effort being put into it and no respect either. Like absolutely no respect for me as a wife, me as a mother, nothing. Like, and again, I tried, like I, you try, like a woman will try so hard, but then once they reach that point where they're like, I'm done, then, there's no going back. Like you lost, you're like, you're done like that. And I finally got that moment in early January where I was just like, screw this. I don't deserve this. I'm done. And that was my moment of being like, I'm not going to sit here and tell you I'm going to go through the divorce or go through it or anything. I go, I'm just, I'm done talking. Like I'm done. So I said to my stuff and I said, well, let's continue everything. And then, so yeah, we're going to be divorced here very soon. So, cause we've already started the process, started turning the paperwork, but had things kind of like I was hoping and you can't, it's not, you can't be one sided. And I, and yeah, so that's basically why I haven't really talked about everything. Cause I was, I was just like crossing my fingers and hoping so badly, but it's for the better. I know I get asked like a lot of questions like, how are you doing and stuff? And honestly, you guys, if you asked me like six months ago, I would be like, I am depressed. I am like, my world's crashing down. But now that I let go, I am, I feel finally at peace. I feel finally like I'm out of this like toxic, toxic vortex of crap. And I feel like I'm finally away from it. I feel like I'm finally free and I feel at peace and I feel happy. There's a lot that's happened this past month and I will have much more to tell you later on, but I am genuinely happy. I mean, it's scary to be a single mom and like have everything on the weight of your shoulders. Like, because I truly am a single parent. I don't have a co-parent here like all the time. Um, but even though like it's scary, it's so much better than where I was at. And I'm living in like the now I'm living in like, 
the I'm appreciating every moment. I'm grateful for every moment. I'm soaking in every moment with my girls because they're only going to be this young once. I'm spending the time with my family. I'm working. I'm like, I just am living in the moment and appreciating it. And I'm thankful that I can do that. That I know that I know how valuable that is. And I know I'm not going to wake up. 10 years from now and regret missing out on this time. I know I'm not going to wake up 10 years from now regretting that my marriage failed because I know I can lay my head down on my pillow at night knowing that I did everything I possibly could. And yeah. And you know what? My life is better now that I'm away from it all. It's better. And I'm excited. I'm excited for the future. I'm excited for future projects. I'm excited to just, I don't know. I'm excited to start my new chapter. So I'm doing good. Like I know I've been through a lot, but it's like, I'm just so resilient from it. Um, and just overcoming it. And I just, it's made me stronger. I have to say through it all though, I definitely do have my walls pretty high and pretty thick right now. Um, I, I'm a, like a really bad overthinker with everything and it's stuff I need to work on um, because I think I've been mistreated for so long that it's like, I, I get blown away if like someone's treated me well. Like, I'm like, wait, wait, why? Like, why are you doing this? What's, what's, what are you trying to get from me? Cause that's basically what I was in was like, you're only treated nicely if they wanted something from you. And um, so I'm trying to break that like, that overthinking that I do. And I mean, that's just something that's gonna heal in time. And if I eventually meet someone, um, it will have to be someone who's patient with me and understands. And it's just, you know, it just, it's what it is. And you just gotta work on it. But I think out of it all though, I think I came out pretty, pretty strong. And I'm just ready for the next chapter. So yeah, I mean, that's basically it. It sucks, and I know you guys have been here for a long time through it all, but <sighs> I never thought I would be divorced when I said I do. Never thought that. I, I got a question in here too, asking me if I would ever get remarried again, and honestly, marriage is really tainted for me right now. Um, I think like when you get married for the first time, you don't think about divorce. You don't think about what will happen if you get divorced. Like who's going to get what when you get divorced? What process you're going to go through when you get divorced? Them taking half of everything that you've done and made to, you know, like you don't think about that. The second time around, you think about it. You think about, okay, if I get married again, how is this going to play out? Like what if we get divorced? Who's going to do what? Like what's going to happen? Like, okay, prenups. Like it, it, there's so much that now I'm like, oh my God, I don't even want to think about getting in another marriage again. And because I, I just think about the bad stuff that could happen and I don't want to ever go through that again. So if I ever got married again, it would be, I would have to love this person more than anything. It would have to be perfect. I feel like even though like nothing is ever perfect, but that's how I feel at this moment. I don't ever want to go through what I went through again. And I think it's made me a lot smarter I'm a lot wiser because of it. I know not to ignore certain red flags and I know how to open up my eyes. And also like if I'm getting mistreated and not being treated like with respect, then I know, boom, done, walk away. Like I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna even waste my time explaining it to you. I'm just gonna go. Um, so I just, um, yeah, marrying again, I don't know. I don't know. I can't answer that question right now because it's I, everything is still so fresh. It just, it would have to be with the right person. And I feel like when you get married, it should always be with the right person, right? But once you've done it once and it failed, you start second guessing your judgment. So I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Have you thought about dating? Um, so like I said, I've, I've, I've checked out like the dating apps and stuff. It's definitely different. Um, I've definitely dated a little bit. I haven't really talked about any of that with anyone. 
um, just to kind of see like, I don't know, it's more so like kind of like companionship, like to, cause I haven't really had any and I've tried and it's been interesting. So with the dating stuff, I will talk more about that in the future with you guys and like share some stories and stuff, but that area it's, yeah. I'll, that that's one I'll just I'm gonna save for a little bit later so we'll we'll talk later on it. How is your relationship with um basically your ex? Is it awkward when you two are together? No, like honestly when we're together it's the same. It's exactly what it's been for the last like few years. Like we were literally just co-parents. Like there was no relationship because it was just always about the kids or about Riley because we just had Kinsley. Um, so yeah, it's not awkward. It just feels like exactly the same, which is the weird part, right? But I feel like it's gonna be nicer now because now it's like with the divorce being final and everything, it's going to feel finally like solidified. Like you do your thing, you've got your time, I've got my time. Um, we'll do some combined things together. Like we're doing Disneyland together in March because um, Riley really wants us to go. So we'll do those things, and I think that's great. Um, the birthday parties and stuff, Joel's, like, or my ex is not even going to be here during those times. Like, he's gone. So, I mean, we'll we'll see it, but it's not awkward. It literally is just the same thing. Any plans for Valentine's with the girls? So this is going to be my first Valentine's Day in nearly eight years, because I would have been eight years. My anniversary was March 21st, and then my... Uh, divorce is February. Um, I think it's, it's going to be here final here soon. It was told February 7th, but I don't know. We'll find out. Um, but yeah, so Valentine's day. So I booked a trip to Vegas with my friend Tao, which has been, she's been like my best girlfriend since sixth grade. So like literally me and her, we were inseparable in high school and we decided to book the trip. I was like, this is perfect timing. This is great. So let's do this. And yeah, so um, we booked the trip. We're going to Vegas. I'm so excited. I might be meeting up with Samantha. If you guys know Samantha March here, I would. Oh, I really hope I meet up with her. Um, but it's gonna be fun. I'm so pumped. This is actually okay. So I've only been to Vegas once, single, and that was when I met Joel, when I was 20. <laughs> um, and. I never went back to Vegas again, single. So it'll be fun. It will be it will be a great trip. I'm I'm really excited. I'm really excited to have some fun and let loose and not have to worry about kids the next morning, um, and just have some me time and with my girl. Like I'm I am so excited for that. It is so needed for me right now. It is so needed. So I'm pumped. Oh, this one is so sweet. They go, how are you really? You are always brave. So hopefully you are really okay. I really am. I really am. I honestly, I do hide a lot. I do keep a lot in and I have my moments, but right now I have to say this past month, ever since I let go and found my peace with everything, I have been the happiest I've been in so long. And I'm not even kidding. It's been so nice. It's like, I feel free. <laughs> I feel free. And then another thing is like, what's the scariest part of being a single mom and the best part in your opinion? Love you by the way, I love you too. Um, so the scariest part is like, for me, I am a true single parent. So I, have, I don't have a co-parent that I can lean on, that I can be like, hey, it's two o'clock in the morning, Kinsley's got a fever, can you come over here and watch Riley? I gotta run her over to the doctors. I don't have that. I, so thankfully I have family nearby because I don't know what I would do. Um, so yeah, I think that's the scariest part. And then also knowing that like everything is on my shoulders. Like whatever I provide for these girls, it's all on me. Like I'm here to provide like, everyone like they're going to survive solely from me like the girls the dogs everything like finances everything is on my shoulders and I think that's like a really big stress is knowing that that's all on me and like not having someone else bear the weight with me or someone else I could fall back on like for instance it's like let's say the girls are sick and they're home and like I say if I don't have childcare, and then I'm like I can't work right now or if I have a campaign or a deadline and I'm like I can't get this done 
then that impacts my work and which impacts like me supporting for my family. So there's a lot, like it's hard, it's scary. And it is, it is so freaking scary. Um, but it's a lot better of an option than what I was in. So I'll make do. I'll figure it out. And I thankful I have a family to like help me and support me and um, to be able to always fall back on that I can rely on. Like I'm so grateful for that because I could not imagine not having a family to rely on and stuff. Like it's it's hard. So yeah, um, it's scary. The best part would have to be is like the fact that he isn't really here. So the girls aren't going back and forth all the time, which is really nice because I my routines and everything don't get hindered by anyone else. So that's been the plus to it all. How did you explain your ex moving out to Rye? How did she react? So she's still so young. This is the blessing in divorcing at young ages. They don't know. And we had a huge blessing in our situation with the fact that he was never here. He literally was here like five days out of a month for a year straight. Like he was not here at all for the last of 2021. Like it's like he was non-existent. So Riley, before we even separated, he was leaving for a trip. He had his bags and he was getting ready to leave. And she goes, daddy, are you going home? And I'm like, because this child is relating home to where you are at the most. And that's when I was like, oh God, um, it's hard. Um, so she already like didn't see this as his home. So it actually made the transition so much easier. And that was the big blessing. It would have been so hard. It's gotta be so hard for the parents that you have mom and dad there 24 seven with each other. And then all of a sudden one leaves. That really throws off the, like, the household. But the fact that Joel was never here it made everything a lot easier. Like she didn't know any different. She was just like, oh, I, we just told her, we go, you're gonna go and like see daddy's house. Okay, cool, I got another bedroom there. Like she doesn't think anything of it and she's still with me majority of the time anyways. So it's, um, so it's really, it's really, I think it's hard. It's hard for her though, when she's away from me because the thing is, is that, She's always been with me. These girls have always been with me. So when I am not around, that is what really throws them off. And it takes me a couple of days to get them back, um, like to their schedules and routines. But um, that's probably like the hardest thing now, but thankfully it's not that often. So that's just like, you know, with young ones, when they're with their mom all the time, like they didn't, they didn't have that with him. Like they were never with him and or, or ever alone. So, I think that's what gets her a little, I think it's a little hard on Riley sometimes when it's just too, she just can't handle it sometimes, but we got to work through it and we'll work through the transition and we'll try to help her the best that we can. Like, that's the great thing is that we have a really good co-parenting situation. We're very amicable. We're very like kind and there's no fighting, you know, nothing. It's literally just like done. You go do your thing, I do my thing, and we think only about the kids. You just keep about the kids, you leave it at that. And I think like also is just the fact that like if I finally like let go, I just just don't care anymore. Like like I don't need to talk to you about anything other than my kids. Like that's just that's it. So that's been the blessing right there. Um oh I got one. Was Disney crowded? Not crowded at all. Wednesdays are the best days to go because how many people are gonna take off a day in the middle of a work week. So definitely go on Wednesdays if you can. Um, favorite overnight lip mask. Favorite overnight lip mask is the, I love, I have two. I love the Fresh Advanced Sugar Therapy Lip Mask. So good, it's in a pot. And then I also love the Tatcha Kisu Lip Mask. Both of those are amazing. Do you guys have a Disney, Disney annual pass? Yes, I have the lower version one and I love it. I recommend it because now we can just go and I don't feel guilty if we only go for like a half a day. So I absolutely love it. That was my little recap there of everything that's kind of gone on. Honestly, I'll be talking more and more about things as, as time goes and as I heal. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you for all of your support. Like, especially over on Instagram, you guys are so supportive. Like I've gotten so many amazing DMs, just having so many of you guys in my corner 
and just like cheering me on like it's helped a ton because it is not easy getting a divorce with two kids especially as young as they are like 11 months and Riley who's three years old I mean it's not easy it's not something that I visioned for myself but you know it is what it is and it's gonna be better it's gonna be a lot better getting away from what what was happening here. So I'm excited to live in right now and enjoy this moment, enjoy this time. And I'm excited for the future. I'm just ready. I don't know. There's so much more to tell you guys, but I'm going to wait until some time and we'll kind of ease our way into everything. But let me know if there's any other videos you guys want to see. I would love to hear from you guys. So thank you for watching. Give the video a thumbs up. It was hard. It's hard to finally talk about everything. I didn't cry though, which is good. Did not cry. <sighs> I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.